I am non-binary. I hope everyone knows that we need to protect the women and children has been used against marginalized people for most of human history. These comments upset me because it's anti-trans, of course, but also it strikes me as anti your own daughters, anti young people, anti women. If you are a young person, if you're a daughter, if you are a woman, would you do me a favor? Please let all of the men in your life know that you can take care of yourself. Let them know you don't need protecting and that you especially don't want protection if it means erasing trans people from public. You know what? I've come upon the realization that a lot of you don't need to be around children. All of you that want to help the next generation, you don't know how to help the next generation because you go with this weird mindset that everyone should learn everything at a young age. And I'm here to let you know, no, because those peewee little minds haven't developed enough to learn about certain things. Yes, they should be educated on them, but not at the ages of four, three, two, one, zero. Because why? They're not ready for that. They're not developed for that. I go with the opinion that at the ages of 15, 16, 17, they should be learning all the things about the kinkiness. Why? Because they're going to start developing their bodies and things are going to start getting hard and wet and succulent. And they're going to go to college and start interacting with people who also don't know anything about sex. And then they're all going to be confused. Parents are going to have to deal with children coming home with babies, STDs, and herpes. And that is not a good idea. So educating them about the kinky is a necessary. Necessary. However, teaching them things that shouldn't be taught or shouldn't really be learned for kids is also something that needs to be said because everybody wants to protect the children. Everyone wants to use children as political footballs. And then you have this dumbass creator of pornographic content banned from schools says book is necessary for kids. The creator behind the controversial book Gender Queer, a memoir, a book that has prompted backlash from parents and actions from schools to remove the book from its shelves is defending content depicted, arguing the graphic illustrations are integral and that we need to reduce the shame regarding sex among teenagers. Now, I'm a 22 year old grown adult. I am not interested in teenagers. As far as I'm concerned, they're all disgusting and they don't even know their own lives and that's morally gross. And if you're making a book with graphic depictions aimed at teenagers, you kinda have to be explicit in what it is you're showing. However, people are not gonna be comfortable with that because no one wants to buy a book with graphic things in it for their little teenage steroid user. The book features depictions of sexual activities with many of those opposed to the book pointing to an illustration depicting a 14 year old kebab fantasizing about an older man touching the <laughs> nobody needs to see that okay nobody needs to see some descriptor like that okay if you're going to say that people need to start learning about sex at a young age you should use two consenting adults not a grown man and a 14 year old why because in real life while you live in this fantasy of thinking that that's okay to illustrate in a book in real life that's a crime Here's the part that I enjoy the most. It's very hard to hear people say, this book is not appropriate to young people, when it's like, I was young for whom this book would have been not only appropriate, but so necessary. There are a lot of people who are questioning their gender, questioning their sexuality, and having a real hard time finding honest accounts of somebody else on the same journey. There are people for whom this is vital, and for whom this could maybe even be life-saving. Now, I don't know about this new generation of teenagers. I'm not 14. I'm not 15, I'm not 16, I'm not any of these teenage ages, but I would argue not every single teenager who is in existence is thinking about a grown adult touching their private parts. I would argue that every teenager is not up at night dreaming of some old man touching their wieners. I think any teenager who exists would think that, yeah, that's a tad bit creepy, and outside of fantasy land where you think everything is acceptable, in real life, if that scenario actually happens, somebody's going to jail and somebody else is 
going to therapy. What I find interesting is that people like to use kids as these political footballs. They like to say that kids are ready to know about these things because it's important. And I spent my entire life being misidentified and nobody seeing me. And I don't want the next generation to suffer that. So I'm going to fully put in a book some weird fantasy that I had as a kid. And hopefully that helps little Timmy overcome the realization that maybe nobody likes me because I'm different. No, you could just teach them that everybody's different. Not everybody's the same. Everybody don't walk the same path in life. Everybody's different and that's okay. Do not put in a book some weird fantasy that you had as a teenager that you think is acceptable. That is gross and what's funny is that there will be people who see this and say oh you're hating on queer people you hate the gays you hate the transgenders you don't understand their plight and blah 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 okay let's play a little game if you watching this video are mad at me that i'm criticizing somebody who put that in a book for teenagers and you think all of that is acceptable cool Fine, let's work with that. If that's acceptable, every time you see a little kid being taught how to use a gun is also acceptable because you can't pick and choose when you wanna be all about the kids and when you wanna throw them to the side. So, for anybody who's got a problem with me and what I've said in this video, I just want you to know something. Come here, I, I wanna say something to you. You are fucking weird if you are thinking that a book meant for teenagers that is aimed to teach them about sex or queerness or gayness has a teenager wanting a grown man to touch them you don't see a problem with that you have something wrong with you subscribe to the channel i'll see you all in the next one goodbye and don't buy books